Why is this German Shepherd missing an ear? This Mastiff Mama continues to get her puppies taken away from her, and I get to sit with my first ever Dalmatian. All of that plus an amazing adoption is happening today. Let's sit with some dogs. Have you ever stepped out thinking everything was completely normal and then feeling like the whole world is looking at you like something is wrong with you? I can imagine that's what he's going through. Dogs live in the moment, in the now. They don't care if they have one ear or three legs. But what this guy doesn't understand is why everyone looks at him like something's wrong with him. And now he's in a place that is all new and different and he's scared. As soon as I saw him, I knew I wanted to go in and sit down with him to let him know he is not broken. You're a good boy. Hi, you've been through it, huh, buddy? What, what happened to you? I try not to read into their story too much when I sit with them, but some dogs, you can just tell more than others, just have such a story. Like what they've been through, where they've been. He has a good sniffer, that's for sure. He found the treats in my back pocket. <laughs> He's a pretty big boy, like he's got big paws. I didn't even see it at first because I was focused on him only having one ear, which is, I'm sorry, but just downright cute. Okay, that's all the treats. I'm gonna get rid of the treats because I'm so focused on that. Are you done with me now I don't, that I don't have anything to offer? <laughs> he's like investigating everything. Check it all out, huh? In true German Shepherd fashion, he's gotta, he's gotta know his entire surroundings. He's a tall boy. <laughs> Super cute. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you're, you're kind of like a close talker. It's almost like, I don't know how much affection he's had. He's willing to give it. It's, it's almost just like, he, though, he doesn't know what it is. Watch. So he's still curious about it. He's not 100% comfortable yet with pets. What I love about German Shepherds is they're so strong and determined. And so when you see a German Shepherd like this, who's obviously had some hard times, doesn't mean that he wasn't loved. He's just, he's, you can tell he's been through something. It's just kind of heartbreaking. Like you just want to take him into your home and let him know it's going to be okay. Because all German Shepherds want to do is they want to be there for you. They want to protect you. They want to make sure you're okay. I just hope there's someone out there that can return that same thing to him. I think that if there's someone out there willing to open up their heart to him, he will immediately give you more. Won't you, bud? <laughs> and <laughs> he's got a super cute face. That missing ear makes him like the perfect combination of derpy, but also strong, still a strong German Shepherd. And three is a perfect age, right? He's not a puppy anymore, but he's not at the senior end of the years. And he's still got so much life and energy. Imagine taking him hiking and playing fetch with him. Do we have a name for him, Alexis? No? No name yet. No name. He's pretty sweet. Yeah, he's really nice. He's still really unsure of like just affection. I bet he was a backyard dog just cause like he, he didn't have any interest in cuddling yet. He will, it'll take him a little time, but you can tell he wants love. He just doesn't know how to get to that. Okay, listen though, I think we came up with a really good name. Alexis was talking about maybe Vincent Van Gogh because you know, the one ear and yeah, we thought what, what if we shorten it to Vincent or Vince? Yeah, Vince, I think that, that fits. Wait, but someone told me he had a hold sticker on his kennel car. Yeah, um, it looks like they just didn't update it yet, unfortunately. So they actually called and said, hey, I'm sorry. We're not gonna be able to handle a German Shepherd right now. So. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. What's really neat is he's eating his food now. And that's a big deal because before I was in there, he wasn't eating his food. So it just gave him kind of a little bit of comfort and confidence. And look, the surprising reason someone doesn't adopt him is definitely because he only has one ear. It's the only reason he's still here. So we have to work to get him adopted. Vince, I don't care if you have one, two, even three ears. You look perfect to me, buddy. Next up, I wanna introduce you to this Pitmation. Well, what is a Pitmation? I'll tell you in a minute. But first, look at this guy. It's like he's scared, but he's still curious. He looks really young. We gotta go in and sit down with him. I, I am in love with this guy. I can't tell if he's ready to play or if he's scared. M maybe, probably both. It breaks my heart how he's cowering. We've gotta show him some love. What is this? Oh. <laughs> hey. Hi, 
Hi. Hi. You need some kisses? Okay. Hi. Okay, hi. Should we count all your spots? You were loved by somebody, huh? You know, you already know I have treats. Let's see if you'll sit with me. Come here. Guys, this is the first Dalmatian I've ever sat with. <laughs> sit. Sit. Good. I bet we can scoop you easy peasy. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Look at that face. Oh, my first Dalmatian sit. Hi. Oh, you're, you're excited too. Hey, you found the treats. <laughs> Tickles. All right, hold on. Oh, you got the whole stick. You know what? I think he might be a Dalmatian with a little bit of pity in him, which would make him like the biggest love muffin ever with the prettiest spots. You are so pretty. What's his story? The owner turned in, and I think they've been here before. Oh, so no. So they didn't last very long in their life. <laughs> the thing about a Dalmatian, or a dog like this, is they need a lot of exercise. But a daily walk, a run, mental stimulation, like doing puzzles, gosh, he would be such an amazing family pet. And you would certainly have the prettiest dog on the entire block. Yeah, it depends on what kind of dog you want. If you want a senior dog that just lays on the couch with you and you don't go do anything, he is not the dog for you. If you want a dog that's athletic, that's fun, that'll run with you, that'll go to the beach, this is your boy right here. It just breaks my heart when someone sees this is the last option, right? When they bring their dog back here, because I wish, I just wish I could have talked to them or worked with them to just say, hey, how do we get him some exercise? How do we play some games? Look, he's bringing a toy to me, right? He just wants to play and have fun. <laughs> Gosh, he'd be so much fun. Let's see if we can get him out in the play yard and have some fun. Oh, and what's a pitmation? Well, it's a dalmatian and a pit bull. A pitmation. Astro is so cute. I went live, I started making a live video because I want him to get adopted, but I'm worried because of how much barking he does, how energetic he is. That's a surprising reason I think he's still here. All that barking, the energy. Even if someone gets past all that and brings him home, they might bring him back because they didn't realize how much energy he had. So I thought if we could go live, I could make a video and I could let people know that he would be perfect for the adopter or the family that is good with dogs or wants a dog that's energetic where they can take him on walks, they can play fetch with him, they can introduce him to mental stimulation games. Get him the exercise, give him the structure, and he will be one of the best dogs around. And I don't always know if these videos are gonna work, but I can tell you more than once, you all have really done the heavy lifting and have shared this video and got the word out and we've saved dogs. We might be able to just do the same thing for Astro. Quick teaser, something's about to happen to Astro that you are not gonna believe. I almost didn't believe it myself. But first, I wanna introduce you to this guy, Franklin, that I met as I was walking through the kennels. Now, he stopped me in my tracks because he just looked like he'd given up. And I thought for a minute, is he winking at me? Like, what is going on? But you can tell something's really wrong with his eye. Yeah, look at that. Even on his intake picture, something's off. Let's go in and see if we can give him a little comfort. Sometimes I can hide when I'm tired or in pain. Like recently when my dog Flip passed, I still have really hard days and I just try my hardest to put on a smile. But have you ever been to the point where you just can't hide it anymore and you just wear it on your face? I think that's what Franklin's going through. When a dog comes into the shelter, I imagine they gave their whole life loving their family, yet somehow Franklin ends up here at the shelter. And he's probably pretty close to giving up all hope. At least that's what his face says. What's going on with your eye here? Let's see. Can we see it? Let's see. Yeah, he's trying his best to open it, but you can see how it's his left eye, the right side of the screen that's bugging him. Oh, 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 
You want to shave? Look at that. Sometimes that's all you need is that is that one moment where it's like he's willing to keep trying. I'll still try to keep giving some more of myself. This could be the start of turning the corner with little Franklin. Oh, you got the whole thing there. Man, you're faster than I thought. I thought. <laughs> By the freeway, which is scary. Oh no. Um, and he did have a hold, but it looks like it didn't work out. Oh, I'm sorry. And he's just available now, waiting. I'm glad a good Samaritan found him before he ran out into the freeway. Yeah, he could use a bath too. Maybe we check with Mel with him. Oh yeah. See if we can get him a bath. Good boy. Here, you can thank you. You've done enough polishing. You can just have a treat. Good boy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> was that just a thank you? <laughs> okay, buddy, let's get the eye checked out and let's see if we can get you a bath and get you feeling better. Oh, that's the eye that's hurting. Yeah. I want to show you some Mastiff puppies and the sweetest Mastiff mom I think I've ever met. I was trying to give mom some attention because Likely, she's been used to just make puppies and then people take her puppies. And it's always hard to get mama adopted. Everyone's gonna want to adopt the puppies right away. So I always just try to show them some love. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Thank you for being such a good mama. It is hard, it's hard to get moms adopted after the puppies are gone and they just look sad and they are sad. So I just wanna show her some love too. And of course, these little puppies. Their paws are so big and they still have the puppy bellies. Hi, puppy bellies. I'm not like, you're a good mom, huh? But I mean, massive puppies. Wow. She's so pretty. Look at this coat. Hi. I have Kelly in here with me right now because uh, setting a camera down with puppies and a mama, like they would all attack the camera. <laughs> it's like toys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have some you have some fans over there. They must watch your YouTube channel. They must. <laughs> They're pretty stinking cute. I just love having all of you in here in this room with me because this is just heaven. Was I not just saying that mama dogs are so hard to get adopted? And then this family comes back. They were here yesterday. They put a hole on one of the puppies and they came back and they said, you know what? Let's think about also adopting mama. Wow. People are good and people mean well. It's people like that, that even if they can't adopt mom, the fact that they're considering it and they came up here to meet again with her, it just warms my heart. But this is another finger crossing moment. I hope they come back for mama tomorrow. Tell the camera who you are and what you do. Officer Payne, I work here at Animal Friends of Valley Animal Control and I'm adopting Medusa. Yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks again. That's yeah, so no cool, problem. man. Yeah, and hopefully they're thinking about adopting the mom. Too. I hope so. so, man. He's adopting the girl yeah, puppy. Yeah, you got the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got him. And I'm thinking we might take mom. That would be awesome. Yeah. Keep them together. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Somebody actually saw a YouTube live that you did on Astro. With Astro? Yes, and they actually decided to run down immediately with their dogs to do a meet and greet. I just did that video like 10 minutes ago. I know, ago. I know, serious? yes. Wow, I am so excited. I can't believe someone saw the live video and then came up here and are smart enough that they brought their two dogs to the meet and greet. This could be just the right family, but I'm worried too because Shiba Inus are very particular and if they don't like something, they'll tell you. So we're gonna jump into that meet and greet but this is the fun stuff like this is why I do it and this is why I make these videos for you guys and for all of you asking how you can be a part of this I'd love to have you as a member we're building a community of dog lovers and dog rescuers so hit that join button every month you get to be a part of this you get to be a part of the community and you're gonna be the first to know when a dog is adopted or when I need help or there's a challenge so I'm gonna be updating that first because it's a good solid community so hit that join button I asked Astro to be on his best behavior because we are not out of the woods yet. This meet and greet is going to have to go off without a hitch. Oh, and good news. Remember Franklin? Well, Mel can get him in to give him a bath. He's just really dirty. He's shedding. And if we want to get him adopted, I think it would help to clean him up. Huh? Mel starts by taking care of his ears and nails and removes a painful foxtail cluster. Oh, and listen to what Mandy says, she's a vet tech, about his eyes. You guys can see 
He's got a little winky eye. So we don't necessarily know if it's swelling by itself, which is causing entropion, which is, you know, the eyelids rolling inwards. Um, and then you get the eyelashes and stuff that rubs on their eye and it's super uncomfortable or it's an entropion and it's causing secondary swelling. So that's what we think is going on with Mr. Franklin, poor thing. We have him on a good anti-inflammatory just to bring down, you know, the pain levels. We do have some eye drops which have a little topical steroid in it. So that should really take down the inflammation in the eye itself. Oh, and look at that. His signature move, the paw shake. He's thanking Mandy for the checkup. Okay, now it's time for his bath. Mel explained he was shedding a lot, and given the fact that he was found at a gas station right by the freeway, this is probably a spa day that's long overdue. It's gotta feel like the best back scratch ever with all that extra hair being combed off. <laughs> I'm a little jealous! But you know what I'm not jealous about is that he doesn't have his family yet. He doesn't have a forever home. And look, this is proof that he would make such an amazing family member. That dryer can be really scary to dogs, and he's a perfect gentleman. He's unique. He's putting all of his trust into Mel. He knows when he finds a good person. Honestly, I can't believe he's still at the shelter. Okay, after some finishing touches and a little extra love and care for his eye, you can tell that he's feeling lighter and cooler than before. And look at those cute little puppy ears. He does not look six and a half years old. I'm really crossing my fingers that one day soon he gets to meet his new family with that amazing paw shake. Okay, back to Astro's meet and greet. It's going down right now. Oh, I am so nervous. I cannot wait out here anymore. I have to go in. Now, Astro and the two Shiba Inus are both starting on leash. This is a great way to start, but wow, you can feel the tension. Well, you can even see the tension on the leashes. No. No. He's barking. Right out of the gate, he's already barking. This is not good. And look at the two sheeps. They're just trying to get away. Just when I think his young dog energy just might be too much, he shows a sign of submission. This is good. He's sweet. He is really sweet. We might be turning the corner. Look. Both parties are somewhat uninterested in each other. They're not fixated on each other. Kind of just checking each other out. Okay, okay, this could be good. Honestly, I had to step out of the room just to make sure that I wasn't added pressure in there because I'm so excited. I think this could be a perfect match, but it isn't up to me. It's all gonna come down to what they decide. Well, what do you guys think after that? You love him? Yeah. Oh, he's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. The fact that they were all kind of like not interested in each other yeah, is yeah. always a really good sign. It's when they're hyper interested right. in each other that is a problem. Well, what do you, th you think you're going to adopt him? I think so. Yeah? Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a happy tail wag? We'd like to congratulate Stephanie and David for adopting our two year old Dalmatian Astro. Congratulations! Your new family. Makes me so happy. And I have a big surprise for you with Vince. Thank you, Animal Friends of the Valleys, for saving another life. And I need your help because as you saw the dogs in this episode, not all of them have loving homes yet, including Mastiff Mama. They were unable to take her home. Now here's the surprise, the big announcement. If you get as emotionally attached to these dogs as I do, now you can be a part of that with my coloring pages. I've been working on this for a while and I thought what a better way to launch this than with Vince. It's really easy, just go to rockykanaka.com slash coloring or I'll put the link in the description below. And my team wanted me to charge $20 for this, but I say just pay what you can. You name the price, you can pay for it, whatever you can afford. If you can only do $5, that's fine. If you want to do $30, 
that's great because it helps us in our efforts to continue highlighting these dogs. I love these detailed coloring books because when I'm stressed out, it really helps me calm down or just when I'm watching YouTube or TV or whatever, I will use this. So go get it, check it out. I want you to tag me with the finished products. I can't wait to see the vibrant colors that some of you add to this to really bring these to life. Go now and get it. This coloring book features Vince, my dog Kobe, some dogs I fostered like Winston and Tulip, and some of the dogs you've seen in this episode and some of the recent episodes like Astro and Oso, all your favorites. And if you want updates on any of these dogs, I'm doing pup date videos, so I'll put it right here or link it down in the description.